Good morning, Pom people. Here I am, first video upload, coming from, I'd like to say completely sunny Sussex, but it's not. You'll have to excuse me, I'm a little bit out of breath. But um, day one, I started digging, trying to sort out the garden, ready to take the new pond. So I'm glad that you could join me on this journey. I can assure you there'll be no merch or anything like that. This is simply a diary to keep an eye on pond build, just so I can look back with the kids and show them what we've done, because hopefully they'll be a big part of it too. So, like I say, down in semi-sunny Sussex, a bit of a tongue twister, and uh, current pond is around circa 5,000 litres. So I'll just give you a look at that now. Sleeper built. Has a liner, retro bottom, uh, retro bottom drain. And uh, I will talk a bit more about the filtration, in particular that. And I'm guessing some people are maybe interested in DIY builds. And that's actually version two. Version one was a, a bit of a shit stick really. It was good, but it needed cleaning pretty much every day, every other day in the winter. The covers came off today, we're fine up to about 12 degrees. And uh, you can see the reason why the new pond build is taking place. It's starting to get a bit big, really. So that's the area. Excuse the mess, like I say. We're just getting sorted, moving everything to try and reduce the depth of the dig. I've actually lifted the garden up by 300 mil on the sleeper wall there because we're hitting solid sandstone. So that's a uh, the remnants of a dog agility set. Amazon, 43.99, it'll last 10 minutes. And this is uh, currently the junkyard for the new pond. I'll take you up. So as I say, we've just started digging just to see what ground we've got. Dimensions will be four by three. It's gonna be block built with a rendered finish, with a single window, bottom drain. Not sure on filtration at the moment. Um, was looking at Nexus 320 plus a sieve and got my DIY shower as well um, but been looking at the Draco units so, um, but we'll talk a bit more in depth about that soon but yeah this is the start thanks for joining me and uh, hopefully there'll be plenty more uploads as I say I'll try and talk a bit about my pond I built this last um, Boris lockdown, but so I made so many mistakes to be honest with you. But again, I'll talk about those and hopefully that gives some information to people looking to build a new pond because I am a complete novice, really. Um, I've watched James and Coy Whisperer, and obviously Matthew down at Cornwall, and uh, I've learned a heck of a lot. Hopefully, I can pass some of that on. But uh, yeah, catch you on the next one. I've got the old mutt helping out. There's the mutt. <laughs> And we've got big boy Ted. Oh, big guns. Show us your guns. No. no. So we've got the pond all marked out now. Got some decent ground that we're working to. The problem is the old waste pile gets bigger and bigger. But uh, as I said, we lifted the garden 300 mil, so we're losing a lot of it. But uh, we may need a skip, I think. Or two. Helper number two. <laughs> but yeah, catch you in a bit. So that's it, the end of day two. Managed to get half a day done yesterday, half a day done today. It's been freezing cold here. We've had a bit of rain on and off, but um, we've made good progress. But the main thing was um, just trying to return the garden back to some sort of normality. We've got two dogs and the mud indoors have been an absolute nightmare, but uh, hey up. So uh, what I'll do is I'll give you a quick tour around and then I'll come back to you. So there we go. Small pile of dirt. But we managed to get just over half the pond cleared today. Like I say, there's mounds of dirt everywhere. But uh, yeah, making good progress. So we've got down to there, gives us 1.4 metre depth once the pond's finished. A little bit left out ready for the 
the bottom drain, which is on order. So that's going to be just a spin drifter, four inch spin drifter, obviously with the built in air. And uh, yeah, single bottom drain. So, to be honest with you, today's not been a bad dig, but the main thing was getting this part of the garden back to, back to normal. And what we're doing is we're stockpiling the soil because once we're done where the old pond sits at the moment that's actually going to become a, a decking area so we've not got enough room up the top especially with the mutts so where the pond is now that'll become a decked area leading down from the top with stairs down and then where if i jump out if i jump out now so if we were sitting on the decking obviously the center of the pond will be where the window goes so we'll be able to sit up of an evening, chill out and just uh, watch the koi. Hopefully, the water's clear, we shall see. But uh, yeah, that's the end of uh, end of day two. But um, yeah, once the uh, the decking's done, I'm going to build the kids with the sleepers that are left over from this pond. We're actually going to build a little uh, 2,000 litre pond. Going to use the, the filtration off of this, which is a uh, Waza BioSmart 36,000. Um, the 36 watt UV, I'm actually going to use that and uh, that can act as their goldfish pond but I can also use it as a sort of semi-quarantine pond but um, yeah, not a bad afternoon because as though it's uh, done nothing but rain dog agility sets out, as you can see an avid user, in your head, huh? yeah, full of beans so there you go that's it, that's progress so far. Like I said, what I want to try and do is rather than just um, pond digging, I think it's going to get a bit boring. So what I want to do is I'll uh, show you around the, the old pond or the existing pond and uh, the DIY filter. I've had a few messages from people to say they'd be interested to see, but um, I mean, there's so many of them on YouTube. They're all very similar, but as I say, I've got the built-in, um, I've got the built-in sieve on mine. I'm just trying to think. I think it's 150 micron or 100 micron, which uh, it does need cleaning a fair bit, but it does a cracking job. Um, I have got a sample of the water indoors, actually. I'll show you that. But yeah, we'll do a bit of a walk around the other pond and uh, I'll show you some of the other stuff and got some friends and that local that have got ponds, so hopefully we can give them a visit and see what's going on. I'll introduce you to my fish. Um, I want to show you an app as well, actually. I like keeping track, obviously, of koi size and things like that. So there's a cracking app um, for keeping track. Um, it also helps with medication and things like that. But uh, yeah, we'll go into a bit about that in, the, in another video. But for now, I'm knackered. And the wife said we can get a curry tonight. So um, I think what's frightening, looking at this camera, I didn't realise how wrinkly I am, which is a bit concerning. I'm actually only 22, but I wish. But uh, yeah, it's a bit of a bit of a weird one sitting in my garden. I think the neighbours think I'm some sort of uh, some sort of oddball. But yeah, hey up. Probably right in many ways. But yeah, take care. Happy ponding, everyone, and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Ciao for now. One last thing. It seems to be custom to say, can you like and share or subscribe to this video? I've got no idea what that means, but I think it's the thing to do.